Tell us a bit about yourself. Right. Elspeth and I, I'm Russ, uh, have been running Ocean Blues Rhythm Tours uh, quite a while now. Uh, and what we do is we use fast boats to take people out around the Isle of Arran and also around the Firth of Clyde to see the wildlife uh, and we tell them about you know, what's out there and what's not out there and how the sea has changed over many years. What, what kind of animals or sea life do you show with people that are on the boat? Uh, Anything you can find. It's uh, rather a lack of the cetacean, which is your dolphins at the moment, due to the lack of fish in the sea. But we all, also always keep an eye out for seals, porpoise, which are quite often around. Uh, towards the end of summer in September, basking sharks, all the bird life as well. Um, so we've got lots of gulls, the gannets, all the hawks, that sort of stuff. It's absolutely great fun. Cool. We've seen lots of whales over the years. Uh, but we don't see them all the time. There are minky whale out there, uh, and also the pilot whale, which is a sort of large black dolphin. Uh, it's great fun that we do see them. Okay. It's the hair standing up. <laughs> <laughs> How far do you travel on this sea? This well, if it's in the Firth of Clyde, you go there. So we also work with the lighthouse board, taking people around and repair. Um, and redecorate lighthouses, it's vital job for them to do. And the first time we did that, we went from a lush past Elsa Craig right down almost to Stranra in Loch uh, to do a job. So that was what, an hour and a half each right. way. Um, and it was quite a misty day, so we had to do a lot of navigation on that. But we also go right up Loch Rhine, uh, right up the Clyde, up towards Glasgow, that sort of thing. Uh, and quite often we go down to Sander, which is an island off the end of the entire farm on Camden Town. Um, does your business affect the environment and sea life? Yes. <laughs> so, in what way? In what way? Um, on the face of it, not very good because we use a fast boat, uh, which uses a lot of fuel. So what we do is we recognise that this might be a problem and we try to use as little fuel as possible and when there are creatures around um, that we are looking at and interacting with, we've both been on courses, wise courses, wildlife safe courses, so we know that we must slow the boat down and we, if we are going to look at the animals, we approach carefully and only up to a certain distance. So that way we minimise our impact on the sea. We also offset, in our way, it's like a, a carbon offset by giving lots of people information about how important the sea is and all the sea creatures and that. So it's all doing our bit by you know, pushing how environmentally friendly the sea can be and how important it is to the environment by that offsetting and that fuel we use to do that job. 